you're spending a huge amount of time in Blue Origin. Yeah. Very few people know how hard you're working yeah. on it. And the truth is, you haven't really stepped down. On the contrary, you just went much faster forward. Can you tell us a little bit about how the world looks like 10, 50 years from now? Well, uh, so I am working very hard on Blue Origin. I'm working very hard on AI. Um, I'm the least retired person in the world, and I will never retire because work is too much fun. It will never happen. <laughs> and Lauren is, you're, you're for it. <laughs> she knows it makes me happy. And so look, um, Blue Origin, we're uh, at the end of this month or maybe the first week in November, uh, we're going to launch our new Glenn vehicle and we're sending NASA's Escapade uh, satellite into orbit around Mars. So that's about to happen. Uh, we are building a lunar lander that is going to land on the moon uh, here in just a few years and also very exciting. It's hydrogen powered. It, we developed being 20 degree Kelvin, very, very cold, 20 degrees above absolute zero, 20 degree Kelvin electric powered, solar powered cryo coolers so that we can keep liquid hydrogen liquid and have it be a storable propellant in space. This is very hard to do. We already have made amazing progress on it because hydrogen is the highest performing fuel for rocketry, for space travel, but it has this problem that it has to be kept so cold that historically it hasn't been able to be used on deep space missions because it just boils away. So we're solving that problem, making hydrogen a, uh, a storable fuel. We're we are doing R&D into how to build solar cells, solar cells from lunar regolith on the surface of the moon. Uh, because if you're going to go to the moon and stay on the moon, you need to be using the resources of the moon. You need to be harvesting the moon to make that cost effective. So the moon will be a launch pad. The moon is a gift from the universe. It's so close to Earth. It's only three and a half days away. We, have, we can launch and get to the moon any time. Uh, unfortunately, to get to other planetary bodies, they have very rare launch windows. Mars, you can go to Mars once every 26 months or so. And so the moon is really a gift, and it has a very low gravitational field, only a sixth of Earth's, which means it takes about 30 times less energy to lift a kilogram of mass off the moon than it does to lift it off the Earth. So we can use the moon as a rocket fuel depot to go to the rest of the solar system. 